Oh my gosh, good morning, YouTube land. I love you. I hope everybody's doing good out there. It's Friday. It's finally Friday. I know. And if you're like me and you feel like you just had a rough week and you got beat up and you wake up and you got black <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm done with the depression. You know, it's like sometimes you just, you want to be a bench warmer. You know, maybe, maybe not you because, you know, you're a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Aren't we all? Cheers! You know what? It's all about Jesus, though. It really is. It's all about Jesus. It's it's trying to explain the love story. It's trying to explain how the mission was accomplished. It's explaining that, you know what? We're not robots. We are not robot robots. We are human beings that fall. We're human beings. We're selfish. We don't have all the answers. We're all, you know, one thing I've noticed about people, we're so good at pointing fingers. Oh, we're always pointing fingers. And there's another thing I've noticed about people. People love to talk. People love to talk and gossip and, and you know what I mean? I'm serious. And I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? But you know what? As long as you're talking and gossiping about Jesus, it's all good. Seriously. You know, I love it when people say, oh, well, I just can't go to church because, you know, it's all about living this holy, holy, pure life. And that's just not possible. And it's like, you know, it, it gets easier along the way. When, when you give your whole life to Jesus, and when you say, God, I want to follow your son. I want to do it. I, I want to I do what you want me to do, God. And when, and when you know, when you've got that fear of, of the Lord, that's the beginning of wisdom, when, when you come to that realization, or actually I say, when you come to the end of yourself, you see it and you get it. It's like, it's like, oh my gosh, I totally get it. I get it. Because people are so good at judging other people. There's only one! His name is God Almighty. And I'm telling you, until I meet God Almighty, I don't care if people are going to judge me. I don't care if people are going to talk about me. I don't care. All I care about is pleasing the Father, doing what's right, doing His will, being obedient. You know what I mean? You're either going to listen to the devil or you're going to listen to Almighty God. And if you're in the middle, make a decision. Make a choice. You want to be in this world doing what the world's doing, okay? Then go for it. Good luck with that. And, and, if, you're, and if you're not going to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior... Then, can I just say something? You need to read the Bible. You need to understand the hidden secrets in the Bible. I just recently had a talk with someone. And they were talking about the old... Um, the Bible in two parts. They were talking about the Old Testament versus the New Testament and and how it just doesn't make sense. And I said, I know, because back then, people had to offer blood sacrifices to the Lord for their sins. 
it could have been a chicken, a donkey, it depend. you know, it, it was what your family could afford, but God Almighty, you know, he required sacrifice, and then love stepped in, and God, he sent that message. I, I, you know, it's in Genesis, and you, it, you guys know what I'm talking about. It starts with Adam, and how Adam means man, and the rest of it goes because it's all through that seed from Adam. Man has been appointed a short time of wrath, and then the indwelling, you know, the spirit shall come down from heaven and 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 die and be taken up and and I can't exactly remember how the love story goes but it's that we were all given a savior it's found only in Jesus Christ it's us that should have been on the cross Jesus didn't commit sin. Jesus was and is still to this day God's one and only Son. And God said, if you believe in my Son Jesus, okay, he made it simple. He made it easy. There are no more blood sacrifices. There are no more blood sacrifices we don't have to worry about that. All we have to worry about is reaching out to other people and telling them, look, you don't have much time to make a decision. You don't have much time. You don't have to be perfect. Jesus says, come as you are. Come as you are. Because he knows you're a wreck. I, I've been following Jesus, you know, for the past, like, faithfully, faithfully, for, for 13, 14, 15 years, rededicated my life. Jesus, I'm, you know, please help me. Please make me a better person. I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be shy. I, I know i got to get off the bench and get into the game. You know, people don't want to hear it. I know! I'm like, oh my God! You know, right when I get my courage up, people just... <laughs> and then they're like, you know, they start telling me the reasons why they can't accept Jesus. And I'm like telling them the reasons why if they don't, they're doomed. The devil is no dummy. Oh, gosh, he's got the best plan. Blame God for everything. Blame God for cancer. Blame God for this. Blame, blame. It's all God's fault. Why is the devil, you know, why are we, why do we even have to struggle through this spiritual battle? I mean, come on, let's be honest. We're human beings. We don't understand this spiritual battle. You know, and then, then you get that phone call from somebody or a text message from somebody that you don't like. And then you're you're mad at them. And the thing is, it's not even, you know, it's it's it's, it's the enemy, it's it's a war, it's a spiritual battle. Can I tell you something? I don't know all the answers. <laughs> I never said I did. But I know who does. You know what? If you don't mind, I would like you to open up your Bible. Because I'm going to read out of Luke. I'm going to read out of Luke chapter 22 verse, um, oh my gosh, I am so bad, my glasses on. I'm just going to start reading it because it's when Jesus prays on the Mount of Olives. 
I can't read what verse. The numbers are like really small. I don't even know, you know, where it's at. So I'm sorry. It looks like 34. Let's read. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them. He knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. You guys, this is Jesus right before he's getting ready to be put to death. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? He asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. You guys, I'm telling you, we all get tempted. Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, the job. Hey, if you can get some more people, you know, on, on your sales, it's all about sales and making money for this company. Hey, you're going to get a bonus at the end of the year. You know what? I've been there and I've done that. That's why I left California. I'm not all about money. I'm sorry, but you know what? Money is not going to make me happy. Because I've had no money my whole life. And I don't need money to be happy. All I need to know is that Jesus still loves me in the morning. Can I get an amen? Amen! I don't care what you got. I don't care what you don't got. Because if you're like me, you don't got much, but you're still happy. You know why? Because we know. We don't, we, we know. It's all inside of us. And we know. God Almighty's got them eyes. He knows what's in your heart. He knows you. He knows what you think about. He knows what you what, what you're what you're waiting for. He knows what you're praying about. He knows everything. He knows your pain. He knows your struggle. He knows rejection. Everything that happened to him is happening to the true believers in Jesus Christ. It's happening. It's happening. Even the church is growing cold. The church. Come on now. The church is growing cold. When you go to church and it's cold, and I'm not talking about the kick up the AC. I'm talking about people's attitudes, people like shunning, people, you know, I'm, you know, when people don't understand you, people tend to judge. And that's why I go to church, because you know what? I know I'm in a safe place. I know I'm among a lot of other people that are just like me. We're not perfect. We're far from perfect. And that's why there's so much love in God's house. Nobody's better than the other person. 
just because somebody's got an MBA and something, you know, some, you know, and you don't, you know, you've got life experience, all right? I've got life experience. I don't have a degree, but I know I'm saved by the blood of Jesus. I know I fall into temptation. That's why I do what Jesus says to do. I wake up and pray. I don't know about you, but this time, this day and age, it's not like 10 years ago. It's not like 20 years ago. We don't live in the 1950s. We live in 2016, where you send your kids to school and your kid comes home with a black eye. Okay? That's why I homeschool. I don't even put hands on my kids. You know what I mean? Just because I grew up with corporal punishment doesn't mean I got to pass that on to my children. It stops right here. They're being raised with love. And sometimes I got to go into my bedroom and get on my hands and my face and cry out to Jesus. Lord, if I'd have talked back to my mom and dad, and now I can't eat, you know, it's, it's different. This generation is different. That's why teachers are getting into, I mean, did you see? I just heard about it on the talk. The talk, or I don't know what it is, but for five minutes I was on TV. Yeah, some student beat up his teacher, oh, because the teacher was trying to take the, check this out. I don't know where this happened. I think it was New York. I don't know. But the teacher got beat up by a student because the teacher was telling the student, Turn the earphones down. You're wearing your Walkman. It's too loud and disruptive here in school, in the classroom. Can you turn the volume down? The student didn't like that. The student beat up the teacher. Put the teacher in the hospital. I got good news. The cops were called and that, that student was arrested. You know what? That's the times we live in. You know what? The church is getting beat up. Kids are getting beat up. There's violence. There's hatred. There's killing. Do you know what times we're living in? Do you know we're in the last days right before Jesus comes back? I'm telling you, if you don't know, now you know. And I, I know, I, I got to calm down. I'm drinking my tea. I'm not drinking coffee. But you know what? How much time do I have? 18 minutes? I was going to read another part about while he was still speaking. Let, let me just read that since I'm here. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up. And the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with our swords? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, We know more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. And then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple guard, and the elders who had come for him, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? 
every day I was with you in the temple courts, and you didn't lay a hand on me. But this is your hour when darkness reigns. Okay? When darkness reigns. Jesus knew he was being betrayed. And Jesus knew, okay, this is it. I'm going to the cross. They're going to kill me. He already knew what was waiting. That's why he prayed to the Father. Father, please, I don't want to do this. He knew. He knew they were going to rip out his beard, punch him in the eye, pull his hair, put a crown of thorns on his head, make fun of him. Oh, if you're the son of God, then get off the cross. You know what? Jesus came as a humble servant. And he is the king of kings. But unlike other pompous kings, like the Pope, you got to wear your long robe. And you got to wear your crown of jewels. And you think it's all about how you look and how you dress. You know what? Jesus didn't come into the world like that. And that's exactly why the Jews rejected their Messiah. He didn't look like a king. Oh, well, you got to look a certain way. Well, you know what? People need to stop being deceived. People need to open up their spiritual eyes. It's not about the outward appearance. It's about what is in your heart. There's, if there's no love in your heart, it's all about love. Love, 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 love. Jesus died for you because he loves you. You think the devil's going to... The devil don't care about you. This world don't care about you. The only one that cares about you is Jesus. And if you don't understand the love story, I, I'd be in the book. I, if I were you, I would go to every Bible study you can. Get some knowledge in here. Get some strength. It's the battle. The battle for winning souls is not going to get easier. People don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. They don't. That's why I do a channel on YouTube for Jesus. Because you know what? I didn't want to hear it either. I was just like the mockers and the scoffers. And it wasn't because I didn't believe in Jesus. I saw Jesus. I was in a coma. I saw Jesus. But I thought I was crazy or that it was just, you know what? It was just some weird dream. It was weird. I was there. He, you know, he pointed back to the earth. Jesus didn't even say anything when I saw him. He just pointed. And I was like, brought back into my earthly body. What? Okay, Lord, whatever you want me to do. <laughs> hey, I love you, and I hope this helps somebody on a Friday, okay? Don't be tempted. Make sure your whole family is saved. Keep praying. Keep praying. And I gotta go. Love you. Bye.